Hey, happy Friday. Thanks for checking back. I'm saying happy Friday not because we celebrate the work week being done, but we like to finish strong, finish with a bang here at the end of the week. I'm your Charlotte 49ers women's basketball strength coach, Skylar Farley. Stay tuned as we talk about a little bit of what went down today. going to notice we start off with our med ball calisthenic warm-up. We always do this on our upper body day. Again, it's to set the pace and the tempo to build that aerobic base, starting even with a warm-up to move in a bunch of different directions to lay the foundation for good movement patterns. Okay, moving on from our general warm-up, we're going to move into our specific warm-up. Say we're starting with a hand box matrix. What I'm looking for is the girls get all the movement from their shoulders to keep their torso is rigid and their hips from rotating. Everything, again, just comes from the shoulders. They're going to have that paired with a banded figure eight. Just work on the mobility at the shoulders and then a scat chin up. This is just the first three or four inches of a chin up, learning how to engage their lats, their low and mid traps, and just making sure that we're working on scapular depression. We spend a lot of time in scapular elevation in a shrug position, and this is just going to reset our posture before we get into our overhead work for the day. So, as I just said, we are going to start with an overhead emphasis. I think it's really strong to have overhead strength. Um, especially for female athletes. You're going to notice the weight on the bar isn't too heavy, but we're doing a ton of volume today. We've got five sets of eight paired with five sets of eight on our lat pull downs. Again, emphasizing that upper back strength is going to be really, really important. We're going to move into that, from that, into our relative strength work for the day. So we just have a total rep goal. I want the quality of the reps to be there. So I just said we're going to do 50 total reps on our elevated push ups where we're trying to get our chest below the plates, our inverted rows, and then a banded 45 degree raise. I set a total rep goal so the girls can break it up however they want. It can be 10 sets of five, five sets of 10, but whatever's gonna allow them to get quality reps, as soon as the quality deteriorates, we take a break, move on to the next exercise, opposing muscle groups, and then come back to it. We're gonna finish again just with some general accessory work, some grip strength with reverse grip curl. We've got some lateral windmills in there for hip mobility and torso strength, and then we're gonna finish also with some tricep push downs. Having strong triceps extremely important for a good press. Okay, so you're going to notice at the end of the session today, probably the most important part of the session, we want to make sure we go out with a bang at the end of the week, is our strongman circuit. This is really important, we're just where it falls in with the sequence of everything that we do throughout the course of the year, and being that we're in the beginning of the off season, and I think about the triangle for athletic success, or the pyramid for athletic success, you look at general movement forms the base of the foundation, then we lay a foundation of strength and power on top of that, and then sports skills to follow, which I never personally deal with, that's what happens in practice. But in building that broad foundation, we have a ton of different movements that are going to be thrown into this circuit, and it's all basically developing work capacity at the same time. So this would fall into the category of general physical preparedness. You're going to notice that the girls are doing some different things, including tire flips, some backward sled drags, battle ropes, med ball slams, and all of this, again, is just going to develop that work capacity. And going back to what I talked about on day two, both the size of the engine and the size of the gas tank are being developed simultaneously. At the end of the day, the girls have a lot of fun with it, so it's a great way to finish the week. All right, that concludes our spring phase. Be sure to check back here in a couple weeks. We'll start summer one and summer two. Can't wait to get after it with the girls. Until then, stay hungry and stay strong.